Hey, it's Charlotte. I'm not available right now. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. Hey Charlotte, we just arrived in Philadelphia. It's literally freezing cold, but we're ready to roll here. Hey right, guys, are we ready to roll? Yes. All right, let's get this thing started. Go, 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 go. And welcome everyone to our 360 video series. In this first episode, we'll be tackling the following question, how can we make housing more resilient to climate change? When we talk about resilience, basically we mean two things. First, how can we reduce greenhouse gas emissions from the buildings? But we'll also be talking about how to make these buildings able to withstand the impacts of climate change. We're starting this tour in North America, in Malvern, Pennsylvania, at the North American headquarters of Saint-Gobain to meet with Dennis Wilson. As you know, the US will be one of the countries facing some of the worst impacts of climate change. Can you elaborate a little bit on how building materials can address those impacts? I mean, we are already dealing with the worst impacts of, of climate change. Flooding, wildfires, wind-driven events. Our products are really designed in order to be able to withstand those events and then to quickly recover from them afterwards. Can you maybe mention some practical examples that do make a difference on the ground? A few practical examples are roofing that is designed in order to be able to withstand things like hail without being damaged. Okay. You know, wall systems that are able to dry out very quickly after a large rain event, a large flooding right. event, those, these sorts of things. Gypsum products that are really designed in order to be able to protect occupants from things like fire. Off-site construction, is it also a way to both mitigate greenhouse gas emissions and reduce the impacts of climate change? It is. Just to start off, offsite construction is where we build wall systems within a factory to very tight specifications. Those wall systems are trucked to a job site and uh -huh. then assembled with a crane. This allows you to build a building in a very efficient way that is very energy efficient and be able to reduce waste. It's an incredibly sustainable way to be able to build and also helps the occupants save energy. All right, we gotta see how it works. So we're gonna hit the road. Today we're in Keene, New Hampshire with John McElroy where the houses are literally being produced. So we're surrounded with houses right here. That's right. We take the customer's plans, we build that building in our three-dimensional model, feed the factory the information, the panels get produced in a very uh, specified manner. So we have uh -huh. quality control checklists along the way. When it's time for the project to start on site, the trucks, they're all planned to show up in the sequence in which the building is raised. We do that, generally speaking, in about a week. And one of the key benefits to off-site construction, here we are, it's a nice cold day, and we continue to build in a nice, warm, climate-controlled building, and we're able to build year-long. What are the benefits of building the house off-site? as opposed to on-site. In an off-site setting, you have multiple layers of quality that ensures that you have that strength, that resiliency, to ensure that the occupants are comfortable, both from an acoustic perspective and from an air quality perspective, Okay, that leads to a higher quality home or building in the future. Oh, off-site construction can address the housing crisis, which is particularly dire in Massachusetts and in the US at large. We are building more and more homes every year. However, we still have a 3.7 million unit housing shortage in That's the United States alone. Yep. The only way to address that is being able to build homes faster. And with offsite construction, we can build in about half the time as you could in traditional well, construction. That's really significant. It is. Obviously. I'd recommend you meet with Lucas Hamilton to tell yep. you a bit more oh, detail right. on the science be behind excellent. how we yes. do that. Brilliant. Can you tell us how can research support the push towards sustainability of, of site construction? Well, not just in creating the materials that meet the future needs based on climate change, but also create the materials that can be used in an off-site setting. And yeah. As we go towards things like higher performing buildings, lower yep. energy consumption, lower resource consumption, there's a lot more challenges put on the design. And it'd be very easy to meet those challenges and discount people's comfort uh -huh. and health it's a little more difficult to make sure that you can meet those challenges while still creating an environment in which people prosper. No, we want to see some of those buildings on site. Let's see the road.
This morning we're in New England and we're gonna meet with Bob and Katie. Bob and Katie, they've built that house. Why did you choose outside construction as a building technique? It's panelized, but it's got insulation in it. It goes up fast. Our weather here is cold, so we want to build it as fast as we can. This is the dining room. See the wall I showed you downstairs that it was all empty? Yep. This oh, is yeah. how right. it comes it's... from certain tea. It's totally full with the insulation, and they cut for the electrical. So okay. there's no impact from the rough mechanicals in the insulation. Once the foundation was in and we got the delivery of the walls being panelized and all insulated, it took about a week to get it to this stage. It's a more efficient way on time and dollars. Kathy and Bob, thanks a lot for the tour. That is the end of our trip in North America, and to me, that was really an occasion to learn about the many, many benefits of off-site construction. It is not just about making housing more resilient to climate change. It's also cost-efficient, time-efficient, and energy-efficient. Next month, you'll be in Brazil with the amazing Charlotte Kahn, and there, you'll get an occasion to learn about what Saint-Gobain is doing to make sustainable housing affordable for all, and ultimately, to make the world a better home.